Sweet. All right. So now we're going to look into integrating the weather API so we can actually get data on the screen. Um, so some background here. There's a ton of weather APIs out there um, from a bunch of different companies. Um, on a quick search, I looked for the one that gave me the most data for a free tier. And so uh, I looked at weatherapi.com. It's pretty extensive, and you can get a bunch for a free tier. So just went with this, but you could really go with whatever you want. Um, in order to actually call into this API, for example, if you're following along here, um, you'll want to create an account with them because uh, when you create an account, you'll get a weather API key. And you're going to send in this key every time you make a request to this API so that you can get authenticated and get data back. Um, and so once you get that weather API key from their portal, uh, you can set it in a .env file. I won't show you mine, but um, you can set one here. Um, and it'll look something similar to this. So whether API key is equal to whatever you set here. And in this project, I set up a dependency so that you could basically import that environment variable into your code and use that accordingly. So um, anyway, just some uh, setup around that. Um, this. By the way, the Weather API has a bunch of documentation on a number of APIs. Um, we're going to be looking at the Forecast API mainly. So if I go down to this uh, get weather data function, um, you'll see here it's taking in a city. And this is where I'm actually going to call in this API. Um, and this get weather data is called from this use effect. Basically, uh, for those of you not really familiar with this pattern, once this component loads, this app.js component, um, it's going to call into this use effect. And every time this city changes, we're going to call get weather data. And city is going to change, like, for example, when I change a city here and search for a different city. We'll refetch the weather API to get new data. Um, sweet. So in this get weather data, I'm going to be passed in a city. And I have this try catch block already kind of set up here. So let's call in this API. So I'm going to set theta equal to await. I'm going to use the fetch API. Um, I'm going to pull in the API URL here. Um, the docs go over this, but basically, this is the base of the base URL of the API that you'll hit for this. Um, um, the service. And then the last part of the path is the actual API you want to hit. So for forecast API, it's forecast.json. Um, you'll see below when we want to search for different cities um, and get city location data, um, we can use the autocomplete API, which is search.json. Um, so have a look at their docs to learn more about um, the requests and responses on that. Um, now I mentioned we want to send some um, other parts of the, uh, sorry, we want to add more to the request. This is just a get request, by the way. Um, and so uh, we can add more query parameters to this, basically, to give um, more context into what we want from this API. So the first thing is the key. Um, the key is where we'll add that weather API key um, that we import. So going to add that weather API key variable, which is pulling from my env file. Um, and then I'm also going to set Q is equal to, um, which is the query. Uh, I want to search for the city. And since we're being passed in the city, I'm just going to use that variable here. And then one other query parameter I want to look at is the days. Um, because we're only showing an hourly forecast for um, the current day, we're just going to say days is equal to one. So we're only getting one day of data. And that's pretty much all you need to construct the, uh, the, the uh, API request here. Um, I'm going to JSONify that. I actually don't know if that's a word. So I just made it one. Um, oh, wait, data.json. Yeah. Um, to do. And then I'm going to, uh, I have this, if you recall, I have this state variable for when I fetch the data, I want to have a state variable so I can reference it throughout the app. So I'm going to store that 
um, data in this weather data state variable. Set weather data to JSON data. Sweet. All right, now if I uh, look at the app, um, by the way, I uh, you, you run the app through a Metro server. Um, and every time you save, it auto restarts the app. So it's pretty convenient. Um, and you'll notice that. So here I'm, I'm pulling in that weather API data. I've got the current forecast. I'm currently from Chicago. So that's going to be the default here. Um, and uh, you can see for each hour, we get the hourly forecast in Fahrenheit and Celsius. Um, and as I click on each of these um, rows, it's updating this kind of like hero forecast. So you can see like, oh, at 12 PM, it's 83 degrees. So that's exciting. We've got kind of basically the uh, core of our application here um, functionality wise. Um, as I'm clicking through these, you can um, see everything updating, at least for our demo app. And of course, you can um, make this extensible. The API has ways to search for like a seven day forecast. And um, I think it has paid tier, so you can get even more flexibility. So uh, there's a lot to play with. I won't go into it, but um, take a look. It's, it's pretty fun.